is Evelyn Dawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to review another lip product because that just seems to be what I like to review, apparently. But it's going to be over the Lorac Beauty and the Beast lip gloss set. I am currently wearing one of the shades right now. This is. Okay, let me drop it. This is uh, Tres Chic. And this is this little shade right here. And if you enjoyed my video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me because I am just starting out in this little world of YouTube. Ugh, no. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and I hope you continue to watch. First things first, I want to say I'm a little shamed because uh, I said I was just going to do, you know, the bare minimum. Some concealer and some brows and, uh... That didn't happen. But, uh, besides the point, today I'm going... If she didn't try to fall out the box. We're back at it with some more the Rock Lip products. And this is their Beauty and the Beast lip gloss set. And there is apparently, I didn't know this, I just picked it up. She was 20 bucks. For like five lipstick glosses. So uh there is apparently a set of lipsticks that go with this. I didn't know that. Um I'm sorry, but uh there are five lip glosses. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm in love with the packaging on this. It has gold detail of roses, so aesthetically pleasing. I haven't touched these, swatched them or anything, so everything you see in is first impressions. I've just looked at them through the box and that's all I get. I don't know what I'm gonna feel about this one. She's very gray toned. So there are three nudes that I'm looking at so far. So I'm gonna show them to you, tell you their names. This is True Beauty. It's a very pink, almost lavender shade with hints of gold in it, so. Oh, she looks, that kind of burned a little. I don't know. No, it didn't, I'm just a liar. Is anybody surprised? So I'm gonna do that on the lip and we're gonna see how she does. Very thick. She almost doesn't want to move. So she's very shiny to like. And uh, she's pretty, but for this look, I'm not feeling her. <laughs> she's cute. I do like the shade. So I think this is True Beauty. True Beauty is lives up to her name. She's very pink. Like, I thought it was my own lip color for a second, but just a sheen of gloss over it, but it is a very fair pink. And then what's making it shine so much is the glitter specks in it, and they are very tiny. So, I do enjoy this color, and it's very pretty. Next is Red Rose, which is a very bright neon red, to be honest. So I'm gonna take her, and we're just gonna When you put her on, she's kind of she diffuses. She's not as bright as she looks in there. She's pretty. I'll, I, like that's like something I'm gonna keep saying because these are all very beautiful shades. This one, this middle one, uh, tres chic, tres chic. Yeah, trace, trace. I took two years of Spanish and I can't say trace. Tre, uno dos tres, tres chic, and. Um, She's cute, but I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy such a dark gray tone nude. I, like, we ain't gonna hate her on her. She's she's a part of the family, but uh, I'm noticing. They are not as opaque, these lip glosses, as the um, Lorac Alter Ego lip glosses that I have reviewed on my channel before. I'll leave her link in the description if you wanna watch her. If not, it's okay, no hard feelings. So I'm gonna layer this uh, red rose and I'm gonna see if she gets more opaque or not. Are buildable. Now let me tell you. I'm loving her more like this than I did like the sheer color. So so next is Believer. No it's Belle. 
Eve. I see Lorac getting getting creative out here, and she's she's more of a nude. So this one's gonna be Belle Eve. Sounds like something Bretman Rock would name one of his cats. And so she's very tan, so. I stand corrected, I'm sorry, Belle Eve. She looks very tan in the bottle, but once you put her on, look at her. We glow in. I really like this lip color. If you are someone of my skin tone on the paler side, not so much tan, this color would be perfect for you. And um, this would be better for someone who is, because these are all basically nudes and if I get to the end of this and I realize none of these are for women of color or people in color in general, I apologize. It's something we all, as a community, have to work on together to help make sure that industries do not just give out the basic blanchy nudes, that they release more nude colors in sets. So, if there isn't any after I review the last two, I apologize in advance. And we gonna get there one day, girls and boys. Whoever wants to wear makeup, we gonna do this together, okay? I'm here with y'all. I unreal what y'all have to go through just to wear makeup so next the girl I've been hating out the door is Tres Chic so she's very she's I don't know I'm not gonna go off looks because like as I learned with Believe is um uh, looks are deceiving it's also a rule of life but uh I'm gonna put her on I'm gonna tell you what I think You know what? I stand corrected. You know what? I just trashed like two, three colors out of this set. I'm like, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna like them. I put them on and I'm like, I feel like Thomas Halbert with that Naked Heat palette. You're just like, you know what? I don't think she's gonna look good. I'm gonna work good. And you put her on, you're just kind of sitting there and you're like, oh, here we are. This would be a color I would use if I want to do a natural look. I don't very rarely do, to be honest. Or, and I kind of want to say this could work on someone of a darker skin tone. I would say someone of Hispanic or Asian orients, this would work beautifully on them. I do this believe this would work on uh, African Americans, but it would not reach the darker skin tones. Like I mentioned earlier, we do have a problem with nudes not reaching certain color tones. I do come, I, I, I don't know, while it is being addressed now, as more people are fighting about it, it's not being, appro it's not being worked into some of the brands I've noticed, so if you are someone who is a um, woman of color of a darker skin tone and you're looking at these and you're interested in them and go, you know what, you wear whatever you want, it's your life and uh, but if you want something that's truly new to your your skin tone, I don't think any of these colors are going to work. Because they are all, not going to lie, they are all based towards people of Caucasian light skin tones. So, I apologize. But, like I said, we, will, we all working on it together. We as a community have to stand together and make sure everyone as what they need. We shouldn't have a problem with people trying to find a basic foundation shade or concealer shade. The, it is tacky. You know that certain lip gloss, when you put on certain lip glosses they get a tacky feeling. Like it's just sticky. This is something, these lip glosses do have that tacky feeling, but um, I've only noticed this after putting on four and uh, I don't mind it too much because it does keep the lip gloss in place, so. And I haven't checked this yet, so I'm gonna give them a quick sniff and see if they are scented or anything, because I know a lot of people are sensitive to certain smells and all that on their lips. 
on top of my lips. I haven't noticed any fragrance of the sorts. I just don't, they might not have any fragrance at all. Nope, it's got that signature Lorac lip gloss scent that I've noticed so far. It's kind of like that vanilla. So, if you're not someone who is a fan of food smelling products on your lips, it's not, you can't smell it. It's like, I can barely smell it like this close to my nose. I think I got it on my nose. But I don't think, it's not that noticeable is what I'm saying, but again, everyone is built differently, so it, you might smell it more than I smell it. And this is more of a pink nude. Some, a, sh a nude, someone my skin tone would want to reach towards. But most of these are aimed, nudes aimed towards people in my skin tone, so. I'm gonna, after I film this video, I wanna, I'm gonna check The Rock's website real quick and I wanna see if they have any women, people of color on the website and I will put it in the video if I find any, if not. That was all the shades, um, I'm pretty impressed with them. They're not bad, um, again, these are all nudes directed, except this one, this is not a nude. I do love this color, this one. This shade in the um, Red Rose, Tres Chic, and then Believe have got to be my favorite ones out of them, out of this uh, pack. Um, no disrespect to uh, Savior Fair or True Beauty, they're just not my kind of style of makeup, I guess. I don't know. I don't wear nudes that often, to be honest. And when I do, it's very rare. So, like, these two darker shades would be something I would probably go towards because I can build them up and get these nice dark, that nice dark brown. It's like a very cool tone. Like that's almost like my contour shade, I'm not gonna lie. This nice tan, those are shades I tend to wear more. So it's preference wise, these see the deal. These are my winners. Ooh, look at that. Look at that detailing. I'm sorry, these are just, they put a lot of effort in these. So. And, uh, I don't know, I just, they're beautiful shades, just not to my preference. Like, you, I'm wearing uh, Savior Fair on my lips right now, and I'm I'm not interested. I could go buy a $1.99 Wet n Wild Clear and almost get the same color. So, I think I paid 20 bucks for this, which was not bad. It was on sale, so. But for 20 bucks, I got five lip glosses, which comes down to $4 a piece. For, uh, I, I wouldn't say high end. They're kind of a, they're not low end and they're not high end. They pay, they do charge you a good penny for their stuff, but they're also not like Benefit and Kat Von D. They're not like big big brands as they are. But uh, for a, like I would say a middle brand, uh, four dollars is not too bad. It's, I mean, when you think about it, the. Uh, Texture is very nice. Like I was saying how they were tacky earlier. It's not tacky when you have them all on your lips at the same time. It's nice and smooth and silky. It's wonderful feeling. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this was my review on the Beauty and the Beast set from Lorac, which I enjoyed them. I don't know. Again, my only problem is just lack of sh nude shade. Like I understand. I'm not gonna lie. None of these shades really remind me of Belle besides this red rose so just if they were aiming to do a nude set you could have done a little better to be honest because like you base it, it could have been done it could have been executed a lot better and I don't understand why having four nude shades and then this bright ass color I don't know didn't make color wise doesn't remind me of Beauty and the Beast to be honest. They're nice colors, they apply beautifully, formula's great. Just, it's, it's okay. I'd give it three out of five. Didn't wow me, wasn't life changing, just. Anyway, that was my review. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. I post on Mondays and Fridays. Should be going up on a Friday, so hope to see you on Monday.